One man, one murloc, one giant angry badger. This is Blue Please. It begins now. Yes, indeed, folks. Welcome. Welcome to Blue Please on Wild Radio with myself, Total Biscuit. The day today is the 26th of June, 2009. In my country, it's 33 minutes past seven. In your country, it might be another time. Most likely is, one would imagine, unless you are directly north or south of my position. And the chances are you are not. No, indeed, you are not. It's Blue Please. It's Friday night. It's Wow Radio. And we got a great show coming up for you today. What do we got coming up in the show? Well, I can tell you just that. And a very special event halfway through the show, indeed. You may remember, a little while ago on the forums, there was a really cool thing posted called the Scourge Chat Log, and it was most amusing. It consisted of various Scourge characters having a chat log conversation, and many laughs did ensue. Now, after this was posted, I got in touch with the guy who wrote it, who now runs a site called CWSargaris.com, which stands for Coffee with Sargaris, which has the rather dubious honor of being the third thing that I have ever bothered subscribing to using RSS, the other two things being Underground WoW's blog and the Mitanni Sins of a Solar Spymaster, Eve Column on Tentonhammer.com. So yes, you are the third blog I have subscribed to. It's, it's quite amazing. Been on the internet for... Good lord, how many years? Over 10. Probably about 15. 15 years, and yeah, you're the third blog I've ever subscribed to. So well done, well done on that. But yeah, he runs Coffee with Sargaris, cwsargaris.com, and he updates every day this parody blog from the perspective of Sargaris. And it's awesome, you should go check it out. There's a link in the IRC channel if for some reason you're too stupid to hear what I'm saying. CWSargaris.com. And if you're not in the IRC channel to check this out, you should head over. IRC.MMOIRC.com. Hash your pound while radio. I'll click the chat button on the top of the screen on WCRadio.com and join our wonderful, let, yeah, we'll use that word, wonderful listener base in there. Anyway, you might wonder what exactly this has got to do with anything. Well, I contacted this guy, and I said, well, we would like to adapt it into some kind of radio play, and we'll make it the Scourge Ventrilo recordings, because, you know, hey, that'll probably work out. So he said, yeah, sure, go for it. So we started putting it together, ran into numerous problems. This has taken, like, two months to actually get everyone together for it. But it is finally finished. And good Lord, the amount of freaking work that's got into it, it's funny it's awesome and it's gonna be happening about halfway through the show today so you will want to stick around for that and if it's successful you never know we might do the other two chat logs that'll be pretty awesome also content we do things on this show those of you who've just tuned in because some new guys might have come from cwsargaris.com because they got linked through today so thanks to brian for that this is the ranty show this is the shock jock show This is the show where we really, really don't care about offending anyone with opinions. And you know what? We're one-sided. Yeah, we are. We are really one-sided on this show. And to be honest, I'm fine with that. We shout a lot. We rant a lot. It's entertaining. It's hopefully thought-provoking. And what we're going to be talking about on the show this week, we've got some interesting talk about the new raid instance. Some information has just been released about the... Crusaders Colosseum, and we're going to be covering that, and perhaps addressing the potential concerns that this raid instance is a bit slapdash. Yes, indeed, it looks... I don't know, it looks like there's not a lot of work being put into it, but we'll see, we'll have a bit of analysis a little bit later on the show. Also, how to kill badgers. Badgers being the term that we are now using to refer to anyone who supports the stupid badge changes in patch 3.2. Well, I've had a bit of a think. As I, as I generally do about things like this. And I think I've come up with a solution that is relatively elegant that fixes the issue. And we're going to discuss that, have a, have a little bit of theory, a little bit of speculation, and try and analyze the reasons behind this change and just whether or not you can ever justify giving a leg up to bad players just because it also happens to help those who are a little bit further behind than they deserve. It's a good question. We're going to deal with it a little bit later on in the show. Now, I'm going to cover the mail, and we will also be giving you the chance to contribute to the show with your topics for the illusion of choice. 
Yes, the illusion of choice. You can email in to the at gmail.com. That is the Murloc at gmail.com for your suggestion for the last topic of the show. If it's good, I will pick it. If it's not, I will shout you. Your illusions are indeed disillusions of choice. You will get no choice in the matter. You'll get no say. This is not a democracy, people. Now, before I go on to the mail, I'd like to mention something that we're doing over at WoW Radio at the moment. I'd imagine quite a few of you probably scaled back your rating. In my case, I've cancelled my account for the time being. Yeah, I might come back, I might not. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time I've cancelled, it probably won't be the last, we'll see. Now, what I have done is gone back to the game that I used to play before WoW, and that goes by the name of Planet Side. Now, Planet Side is a massively multiplayer online first person shooter with loads of people, yeah? The idea is you can have more than 500 people per map, which is huge. And you fight over huge continents in tanks, vehicles, aircraft, all manner of different things. And you've got a persistent character that progresses through battle ranks. It's awesome. And you know what? So far, we've got 85 WoW Radio players, yeah, just in the first couple of days, who've registered to play this game. There is a 14-day free trial. We have a massive guild, the biggest guild in the entire game so far, and it's only going to get bigger as you listen to this broadcast. If you want to get involved, then I would strongly suggest you give this game a try. It's nothing like WoW. There's a 14-day free trial. It's not going to interfere with your WoW or anything like that, and you'll probably enjoy it. It'll give you an experience of something different. Head over to greyfalcon.net slash psinstall.zip. That is greyfalcon.net slash psinstall.zip. Yeah, that's the installer for Planetside. It's a 14-day free trial. Come and give it a try. On our event server, which we've had expanded to cope with all of these new people, we are going to have an, an out operation, as they call it, within the Outfit, which is their name for a guild. It'll be an operation on Saturday, kicking off at 17... Not 1700, 1900, yes, that's 7 o'clock in the evening, British summertime, which is 2 o'clock EST in the afternoon. Yep, that's the American time, and I'm sure you can work out the time from there. Come along, we're playing on Terran Republic side, and we're going to meet up in the Sanctuary at the building called Heart Sea. Head on to the Ventrilo server, check out where we are, and we're going to show you some massive, massively multiplayer battles. It's going to be awesome, you really do want to attend this. It's going to be fantastic. Right, now that I've got that out of the way, it is time that we torture you with sound effect that everyone hates, and I can't really understand why. I mean, it is appropriate, considering it's this. Uh, mail time. Mail time. Mail time. That mail sounds time. like it's mail time. Here's the mail. Oh. It never fails. Oh. It makes me want to oh. wag my oh. tail. When it comes, I want to wail. Yes, indeed, it's mail time, folks. It is the time where we read your mail, an ever-popular and totally worthless feature in every possible show and or podcast the internet has ever seen. We do this whole interaction thing, that you can interact with the show by sending me an email, which I may or may not read. For some reason, that excites people. Right, so the first email comes in from Lone Wolf, who I think has perhaps been eating a few too many of the mushrooms, and says, Sure was nice of the princess to invite us over for a conquest badge up the zong, a eh, Luigi? I hope she made lots of spaghetti. Luigi, look, it's from Ghostcrawler. Dear pesky player base, the Blizzard Lynx and I have sold out your gear to the scrubs. I dare you to play this game more if you can. We gotta keep playing World of War. Never mind, Luigi, let's play Planet Side instead. What are you on? Good lord. What is he. Th- 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 uh. Oh, God. Heretics, monsters, heretics, heretics and monsters in the enclosed instruction book. This guy's insane. I don't even know what he's talking about. He's, he's gone He's gone mad. What can I say? Right, so I've another email in here, which is rather interesting, from Sabnatron. He's a level 80 horde paladin stone mall, GM of San Diego. Wow, he's guild made of an entire city. That's pretty impressive. Right. He says this, With the advent of XP gains in Battlegrounds and the subsequent feature of being able to disable experience gains through the options menu, I believe this is something you quite overlooked. Ever since the dawn of the Burning Crusade, there have been players clamoring for servers without any expansion packs, for little WoW only. For the purpose of leveling to 60 and running through MC, Oni, Blackwing Lair, etc, etc. There are currently players in guilds who do this, but they are forced to purchase a second account and intentionally not upgrade the account with the current expansions. Obviously, you've probably already figured out the point that I'm coming to. Now players can level a character to 60 or 70, disable XP and experience all the retro-style raiding they can sink their teeth into. I just bet that we see a resurgence of players in guilds raiding and recruiting for AQ40, Sunwall, etc. 
At any rate, thanks for the consistently quality podcast, both in production value and content. That's all the X and O's, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I would imagine that there may be some extra people doing that. I and mean, you've got to bear in mind this is something we already did. Yeah, We tried it with Arcanist Belt, which was a good few months of fun. And then Old War came out, so we retired the guild. It, it may come back. Now, disabling XP, yeah, it's helpful. I'm not going to dispute that. If you want to raid at 60, not being el- not having to purchase a second account, that's really handy. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really handy. And if you don't want to run your second account, you've already got a 60 on it, you can just transfer off to your Wrath of the Lich King account and then disable that account. So, actually, that's really nice. And to be honest, it's surprising. That's a move that is genuinely beneficial to everybody. Whereas... You know, if you were Blizzard driven by Activision's money-hungry CEO, then you would perhaps think that, hey, let's not put this feature in because that means people have to pay for two accounts. Yeah, well, thankfully, they're not all that far gone and they put this in, and that's good. Yeah, that's good. Huh? I'm happy with that. Will we see a resurgence of people raiding? You know what? I hope so. And the reason I hope so is because people view all of the old content, at least the old vanilla content with the rose tinted specs there were some good fights in there yeah egg you 40 was a really good instance for instance instance for instance wow that's bad and also i remember enjoying myself an awful lot in blackwing lair but about only only about half of the fights in blackwing lair are actually worth while and to be honest a lot of the fights are not up to the standard we are now expecting yeah a lot of the old war encounters are just playing better in terms of mechanics now tbc on the other hand that had some great rating and that was the golden age of raiding, as far as I'm concerned. TBC raiding was freaking awesome. Yeah? Well, at least once it got the bugs out of the way. There was loads of great encounters in TBC. So, I am looking forward to eventually leveling through to 70 and going back to some TBC stuff. But, it's unfortunate. Because you're going to end up having to deal with the fact that they nerfed everything by 30%. Which means there's not an awful lot of challenge to be had anymore. Very unfortunate. Plus, of course, thanks to the power creep and the fact that you now have to deal with Wrath Talents... Stuff is slightly easier. We experienced this, indeed, in Arcanist Belt. Because you've got Wrath Talents that you can't really avoid, eh? your DPS has naturally increased, your healing's increased, and your ability to tank has also increased. Yeah, you had a lot of abilities that you didn't have before, and even if you're restricting yourself to using only level 60 abilities and not going past 31 point talents, because of the way the talents have been rejigged, you are more powerful. And we found ourselves quite able, quite able, to deal with everything that came our way with, like, 25 people instead of 40. Now, maybe that'll change once we get to Cthun and stuff like that, but I'm not convinced, to be honest. I think the power creep has taken it over. Now, I would like to see all of the 30% nerfs and everything else that was nerfed in TBC actually reverted, because, of course, it doesn't serve any practical purpose anymore. It won't happen. Yeah? I, I don't think they're ever going to bother, and to be honest, you know, maybe it might be a little bit harder than you would expect to actually revert all that kind of things. You know, I don't know anything about the coding behind it. I don't know maybe if those changes are almost irreversible or would require an inordinate amount of effort to fix. And if that's the case, well, of course, it's not going to happen. But yeah, it is unfortunate. But it's nice that they've brought in this XP freezing. It also demonstrates to me, and this is something I mentioned last week, that they are recognizing that twinking is a legitimate playstyle. Uh, but they're also segregating twinks from everyone else, so the whining stops. Yeah. And that's fine, thankfully. You know, I just wish they'd done it much, much, much earlier and not nerfed twinks in the way that they have. Because you know, as much as you may not like twinks, you've got to admit a certain level of respect for players that are actually going out of their way to be the best they could possibly be at any sp- particular level of play, whether it be level 19 or level 80. Yep, there was always respect to be had in varying amounts for players that do that. That's the whole point of the game. I don't really see why that would be a bad thing. Yeah? So, yeah, it, it's good. And uh, I'm okay with that. Now, there is one last email that I would like to read, and it's from Joe Brewer, and he says this. Okay, I think I'm finally done with engineering. Yes, I know it's a pretty useless profession as is, but, I mean, isn't that why Blizzard said they wanted to be careful of too many classes so as not to make the current one useless? Well, I officially want the damn thing renamed Ammo Maker, because that's the only damn useful thing they can do. Argent Squires for the lose for engineers. Yeah, I've heard a few engineers complaining about the new Argent Squire is actually a nerf to engineering. Well, I'm sorry, the ability to deploy a mailbox is really not something that you should be aspiring to in a profession. I agree, engineering needs fixed. You've got to bear in mind that when I started on day one, I started as an engineer, and I stuck with engineering for ages until I realized that the entire profession was freaking broken and totally useless. And to be honest, it's always been the red-headed stepchild. Always! You know, leatherworking follows... 
a little bit close behind, but not that close. You know, it has always been, and I do mean always been, the worst profession. And it's a shame. You know, I want all professions to be viable, but to be honest, Blizzard again is going to have to take another hard look at crafting because they've never been any good at it. I'm sorry, but there's a load of games that have done it better. In fact, I have a single-player game sitting right next to me that I just got in the post called Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. And you know what? They could take a few lessons from that. Oh, God, the crafting in that game. You know, I, I know it's an unfair comparison because it's just a multiplayer game. It's not an MMO. But there is also a Monster Hunter MMO in Japan, and that too has better crafting. So you know what? Take a few lessons from your peers. There's a bunch of MMOs that have better crafting than WoW. I would love to see WoW actually get some more complex, deeper, and more customizable professions. Why not? Indeed, why not? You are listening to Blue Please here on WoW Radio with myself, Total Biscuits. I will be right back after this break, folks. I am going to play you some Scar Symmetry. It's called Slaves to the Subliminal, and I'll be right back to talk about how we can cater to undergeared raiders and not cater to the bads. Enjoy. Enjoy. 